Hi, I wanted to quickly read something to you. This is a, a short little poem by H.P. Lovecraft from uh, a collection I have called The Ancient Track, which uh, actually The Ancient Track is the title of a different work by Lovecraft, but anyway, um, this is from section four of this book called Satire, and uh, it's just titled Fragment on Whitman although I don't know if it actually had a title. Here we go. Behold, great Whitman, whose licentious line delights the rake and warms the souls of swine, whose fevered fancy shuns the measured pace and copies Ovid's filth without grace. In his rough brain a genius might have grown had he not sought to play the brute alone. But void of shame, he let his wit run wild, and lived and wrote as Adam's bestial child. Averse to culture, strange to humankind, he never knew the pleasures of the mind, scorning the pure, the delicate, the clean. His joys were sordid, and his morals mean. Through his gross thoughts a native vigor ran, from which he deemed himself the perfect man. But want of decency his rank decreased, and sunk him to the level of the beast. Would that his muse had died before her birth, nor spread such foul corruption over the earth. So that's just a short little poem by uh, Lovecraft about Walt Whitman. And uh, basically, uh, Howard Philip Lovecraft here is somewhat lamenting uh, the loss of uh, poetic diction, poetic uh, pacing, uh, structure, basically classical poetry style that um, Walt Whitman just kind of tore to pieces and s said boldly that uh, he is creating uh, his own style for a new land, for a new time. Uh, the, you can mainly see this through his uh, Leaves of Grass, and I would recommend the original version, which is much shorter than his later Deathbed Edition. But uh, it's an interesting work, but you can tell it just, it doesn't follow any kind of rules. And um, you could kind of, you could kind of make a comparison of, uh, say, a classic oil painting, like like just take the Mona Lisa or whatever, and compare that to, say, uh, say someone like Jackson Pollock or someone who just kind of like splatter paints and calls it art. Uh, you really lament the loss of form and of structure. So. Uh, I just wanted to read that for you. Um, I might have said a few words wrong, um, but uh, there was a lot of uh, a lot of old, uh, really really kind of nice uh, use of the English language in here. Like for example, the last line, "Nor spread such foul corruption over the earth." It's actually, "Nor spread such foul corruption over the earth." O apostrophe e r e r. Um, so. I don't know, I think Lovecraft had a real gift for language, and you can kind of see it here. So uh, you might want to listen to it again. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. He was alright way back in the day. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.